that. Um, how did things go over the weekend? Um, really, really, really good. We had uh, two different meets, uh, one on each side of the bay. Uh, we had the Mike Benelli Track Classic, classic uh, which was previously the San Francisco State Distance Carnival uh, that was over at Chabot College. Um, and then we had the Stanford Invitational over at Stanford. Um, so a lot of uh, you know logistical craziness this weekend, um, but it all worked out really well. We had a lot of very good performances. Um, just a ton of athletes hitting personal records for the season or lifetime personal bests, um, and a handful of people improving on their HSU top 10 all-time marks. So really good, really good weekend for us. So what's next then? You have an amazing weekend. What's, what's next? Uh, next up, we have the Chico meet um, on Saturday. Uh, we actually have Hammer on Friday and then the rest of the events on Saturday. Um, for us, this weekend is kind of just a, it's another weekend, you know, to, to get, um, practice competing you know in a meet atmosphere um, seeing other teams from around california and around the area um, it's it's a little bit of an off week um, coming off of stanford and um, the mike Finelli track classic um, those are kind of you know really big meets and um, training is kind of geared towards those and then we kind of get back to working hard this week and um, train through you know the next couple weeks again what are things that you guys need to work on um Track and field is so diverse, you know, we have 21 events, um, you know, two genders, uh, there's, there's a lot going on and it's really an individualistic approach um, based on what people need to work on. It's not so much of a team thing that everybody needs to do the same thing. Um, so, you know, different event groups have different focuses um, and then individuals, you know, definitely have their own individual focus of what their weaknesses are and what they need to continue improving on. Um, you know, but kind of common themes that we see this time of year are, um, you know, people just just getting used to competing on the big stage and meets like Stanford um, really give athletes the opportunity to compete on the big stage. Um, there's a lot more pressure. Um, you know, the meets are being live streamed. There's a big audience. Um, a lot of times the bigger meets, the athletes don't really have access to their coach. Um, you know, they're on the infield doing their thing and the coaches are far away either in a coach's box or, you know, trying to fight to be able to see their athletes from the bleachers. Um, so athletes really get a chance to kind of step up and, you know, do everything that they've been practicing year round. And, um, you know, all the pressure is on their shoulders to kind of perform and to know, you know, how they need to prepare the best. So, um, you know, that's something that athletes are kind of figuring out right now. And, you know, the returners, they're getting it down and they're trying to help the younger ones and the, um, the younger athletes, they're learning that. But you do have some younger athletes uh, beating their own PRs. Oh yeah, oh definitely, every weekend. <laughs> Anything else you wanna add? Um, we've got two youth meets this week. Um, today we're hosting the uh, K through fourth grade, um, fourth grades from all over Humboldt County. Um, so it should be a, a really fun and entertaining endeavor. Um, the little kids, you know, they're just out there trying to get their introduction to the sport. Um, they don't know what they're doing. Most of the time their coaches don't know what they're doing. So we're kind of just out there hurting them and trying to uh, give them a good experience. Um, so it, it's a lot of fun for our athletes and we're really looking forward to that today. Um, and then on Thursday, we host the fifth through eighth grade from all over the county, so. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks.